What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back in another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we do have some market talk as per usual. Um, we're gonna have either two videos today, or we're gonna maybe have a stream. So if there's no second video, we will probably be streaming. But I have to fix some stuff going on with my stream. So hopefully we fix that. Also, if you guys didn't know, I got a new sponsor. Why did I change? Um, because I simply got a better offer from this new sponsor. So go check them out. They actually are one of the best NBA MT websites in the game. We got YBC has them, Big C Richie when his 2K and a bunch of others. So if you guys want MT, go check them out. They're very good. They're reliable. I've honestly, um, I've used them before. So try them out. And anyways, so. Let's go over the market. I have, I've been selling a little bit of stuff, not gonna lie. My MT went up a little bit. I have a lot of stuff to sell, waiting on some cards to rise. We're gonna go every over everything in this video and make sure to drop 20,000 MT in the comments. Let's get this video to 100 likes for that giveaway. And also, if we do have a stream later, I will be giving away some codes. Probably just one PS4 code and then another code later on down the road. So let's get it. So right now, we got these packs coming out tomorrow, which is going to be around. I mean, 22 hours left. These packs are going around 10:30 tomorrow. So, interesting stuff. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I would love to see. I don't, honestly, we're probably going to get spotlights. I don't want to see spotlights. It's kind of going to be a bummer. So, don't want to see the spotlights. The 2K20 packs are officially gone. So, I guess that's good news for all of us. So. Whoever invested in the MGs and all those cards, uh, you're gonna take dubs in about a week. I wouldn't say sell yet. I would say wait a little longer because those packs were OP. Uh, if you got anything with a flash set, I would say wait. It's crazy how Ben Simmons glitch was in the pack. So right now, I got Lamar Odom for 70K. He's around 90 something. Pretty much everything I've bought over the last, when those best of 2K20 packs came out, pretty much everything I bought uh, is straight profit. I've gotten thousands and thousands of profit simply by investing in cards. So I'm gonna go over what I bought, what you guys follow, the rules, what you guys pretty much bought too. So going over one thing, uh, Moments cards have went up a ton. So that's big for you guys. We're gonna go over everything. Uh, pretty much everything has went up even more and we're just gonna make tons of MT. So, for all you guys that have got Donovan Mitchell, for the low, you're lit. Because he's going to be around 170k. I got mine for around 130. Alright. So, I got him for the low-key expensive price. But, he could go up to 170, 200k. He's kind of rare. There's not a lot up here. So, with that said, I'm going to wait. I think I can get 200k for him. He's, there's not a lot in the auction. He's really rare. I'm going to wait, man. I think I can get 200k plus for him. So, then again, yo. Everyone did the set who has gotten this card, so I'm gonna wait. If you guys have that of a Mitchell, wait. We're gonna make a lot of MT off him, I promise. We got Mitchell. Uh, there was just so many cards. If you have Yao, I'm waiting longer. I'm being stubborn and I'm waiting to see how much I can get. Yao's up to 162, realistically, like 170. Um, crazy stuff. Let's see if I can snag a bid real quick with this. I got it. If I get a bid for 130 on Yao, that's a snag and a half. But, uh, yeah. Alrighty, so, right now, let's see. Did I get that Yao? If I get this Yao for 130, that is such dubs. Someone's got to be out of bidding me. Like, look, 160. Oh, they got me last second. Ah, you scumbag. <laughs> Alright, so... Yao sold for 160 and then 130, so that's whack. 130 here. Oh, with that guy got a snag. So as you can see, Yao Ming, you could get him for the low, you could get him for the high. His price varies. I'm waiting a little longer. There's too many up there. And these prime these prime packs are going tomorrow. We're gonna see the prime new spotlights. Nothing special. Not really too hyped about it. We got moments again Monday. But let's get into the auction. So pretty much right now. All I'm going to say is, all I'm going to say is just sell if you really want to sell. All right. These are the players I would suggest selling. So one player that I was looking at that is a lot of rarity now, if you have Bill Walton, go ahead and sell because he's probably, you can probably sell for 500K. I don't know how, but yeah, you probably can because 
Everyone else in this set is pretty much doo doo and everything. They're all cheap. Like Bernard King, bro. Is he, is he even good? He's terrible. He's terrible. He's cheap. We got Moncrief. He's now cheap. Like, how is he that cheap, bro? These pink diamonds are so outdated. His defense is really good, though. It's just, he can't. Can he play point guard? This card's low key fire. He's about to be my new point guard. So we got Sidney Moncrief. Great steal. I don't know why he's so cheap. He's actually stacked. So, um, Sidney Moncrief's cheap. He's cheap as well. So everyone's under about 30k besides Bill Walton. So if you have Bill Walton, congratulations. You're rich. Um, pretty much. Let's go over some of that best NBA 2K20. Nate Thurman's around 45k. What the hell? Who's rare in this set? He's the new rare card, isn't he? It's crazy how when new stuff drops, there's a new rare card. So, I believe it is the sheet. Oh, it's the Lucas too. So, honestly, we might have new methods right here. So, Legacy Showcase. You know what? We're about to make, we're going to about to go over the whole video. So, new methods to make MT. Right when something drops, you pick up the card. No matter what. So let's say they, they drop those packs, right? You head on over to Legacy Showcase Series 2 or whatever, Legacy Showcase, whatever. You scope out what they drop. So pretty much every card isn't as rare. Mark Price is actually rare too because he wasn't in packs. Wow. So since David Thompson dropped that much, that increases the value of Mark Price. It increases the value of Phil. And it also increases the value of Lucas. Now, with the other Legacies... Uh, this destroyed the collection, increased the value of this, then they dropped that, that increased the value of this. Bernard King was going for way over 100k for not too long, this was going for around 80. Those both crashed, meaning the last card to set, Bill Walton, 300k plus. I mean, dude, who is going to pay 300k plus for 200 tokens? I mean, it's terrible. If you're actually paying that much, there's something wrong with you, bro. But yeah, so right now. That's a new MT method. If you have the set, or if you see packs drop and they're in the set, go go crazy. Um, we got these. Uh, honestly, is there any other sets? Nate Thurman, Eddie Johnson. I saw Eddie Johnson. This card right here is so OP. I'm going to have to play with him. My versus can unlock with him. He's money. All right, so right now, moments are at a high. I'm going to show you. I sold my Kyrie. I know, I know. I sold him. Here he is. So I sold, I got him for 40k on the dot. I sold him for 63 in one second somehow. He literally, I overcut like three people he sold. So right there, moments Kyrie done. Moments Capella made 5k on him. Moments seek moments. I still don't know how to say his last name. It's Pascal Seekum CKM. I don't know. It's probably still both of those are probably not even right. It's crazy because I know his name, but I just don't know how to say it. That's crazy. But we got Pascal. I got him for no joke, 25k. And yes, it was a 95. I sniped him out for 25k. He is now. I sold him for 50 something last night. I think it was 52k. Made a solid, crazy amounts of MT off him. He's going up in price. Everybody on the auction is so expensive. Carl the Towns, 52k. Oh my God, he dropped actually. He's probably one of the only cars that has dropped. I got him for around 40. He's around 48, 50. As you can see, I had mine up there last night for 66k. He was around 60. I put 12 hours on him trying to get that that bit off. Um, not bit off. Trying to get that buyout overnight. Uh, unfortunately, it did drop. But still going to make MT off him. Stepped out Steve Smith for 20. He's going for around 35, 37. There's a lot of stuff to do. Pretty much anything you have. Anything you have. If you can ask me in the comments, what, what do you think? Honestly, right now markets rising there's gonna be i don't know if there's gonna be a market crash i don't know what they're gonna drop personally i think it's spotlights which doesn't really crash the market it just continues it's just another thing this night which we're gonna go over tomorrow so we got that new content ton of crazy stuff gotta get the mt racked up tomorrow could be a big sniping day if they drop new like flash content that could be crazy so we could see new stuff and we do see new fire we're going to have to come over to Bugs' video, drop a like, and help him for your tips. Because I'm going to drop a ton of tips on the new content. Stay tuned for that. I'm trying to think. So, we got that. We got... What else, man? Pretty much anything in your collection is just a sell. Like, honestly. Like, ask me in the comments what you think. 
Honestly, though, one thing I would like to say, Wilt and Stockman's, I mean, I don't know how much longer we're going to have to wait. They're so flooded. I'm going to wait as long as possible because I don't know. I don't know, man. There's so many on the auction right now. I know a pink dial Wilt isn't really worth 50K. It's just he's so flooded and it's going to be really hard to wait. Honestly, you, you might have to wait like a month. Like, honestly, he could go for like 70, 80K in like a month. But this is the whole catch. So here's the problem, right? If you guys don't know, these two cards, D-Rose, Tim Duncan isn't that expensive. He's pretty expensive. But T-Mac, his value went up a ton. D-Rose value went up a ton because simply Wilt and Stockton are that cheap. So whoever... Listen to me and said, and hold on to the rows. You're gonna make thousands of MT. Um, literally, it's crazy, man. It's just crazy how the market works. I just can't believe how if one card drops in a locker code, everybody could get them. I, it's crazy how the rarity of this card goes up 100k plus. Like, he was literally what 200k, 180, 170. He wasn't that expensive. Now he's like 300k. Like, what? How does that happen? We got T-Mac going for around 350 yesterday. Now he's about 500. We got Timmy D going for around one something yesterday. He's gonna be around 253. So I mean, it's crazy though. Honestly, if you guys enjoy it, drop that like. If you did it, I don't know. Just drop a question, I guess. I hope you guys enjoyed. Anyways, though, check out that new sponsor. Have a good one, guys. Peace.